This was an expensive Hi, JT. excursion. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we will tell you all about it in just a minute. Yes. Or actually, uh, this is at least one of the reasons why it was kind of expensive. Hi, Hillary. Yep. Hi, Lance. Thank you guys for joining. Hello, hello, hello. Let's see. Keep Hi, Debbie. Up. Thank you. Hi, Boopy. Oh, oh, oh. What did you see? Hi. No, I think it was an ad thing. Okay. That, uh, yeah. Keep it up. Viewers, keep it up. Yeah. Right. Hi, Peggy. Oh, Hi, Belle. I think it's Penny. Oh, sorry, Penny. <laughs> it's early here. Uh, so I had originally scheduled this. <laughs> He's handing me his glasses. <laughs> I'd originally scheduled the live, so it would be 9 a.m. our time. Uh, hi, Kelly. Good to see you again. Hi, Kelly. And uh, we had a time change going backwards, um, so now it's 8 a.m. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's okay, though. Yeah, but it's fine. I'm just a little groggy still. Mm -hmm. um, so this is our weekly update, but um, just to remind you guys, anytime you have questions yeah, or if yeah. you have... I was thinking about something that I was going to put on the list to talk about today. And it was like, oh, that's probably one of those like day in the life questions you guys might have. Uh, 8 p.m. here in Florida. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that, 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 well, that's good. That's that's what, what Lee was aiming for mm -hmm. for the East Coast. Sometime between like 6 and 9 p.m. for the East yeah. Coast. So yeah, okay. that way you, you're, you're finished with dinner and sitting back and relaxing, hopefully. Hi, salty dog. Well, Thank actually, you for the it's, like. It's Friday night there. Yeah, Friday night. Anyway, so feel free to ask us questions if you have any about, you know, the day in the life stuff or, yeah. well, anything. It doesn't really yeah. matter. Yeah. So I basically took a we week off. We are here for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I kind of took a week off from editing and posting the last week, and my numbers are really declining as a result. Um, but between... Part of it was a reason. It was a reason for, for well, part of it, partial. This, this segment, the 12, 12 Nights to Beijing which yes. like, sounds like a, a, nice like a thriller, like an Agatha Christie novel, right? <laughs> 12 Nights to Beijing. Um, the internet has been really spotty at best. Um, Korea was really cool. Yeah. We had a lot of stops there. We really enjoyed that. We're going to talk about each individual one a little bit at least. Um, so yeah, Bali was like the last place I really posted from. We still have mm. tons of video to go through uh, for Hong Kong. I will say... I think we talked about Hong Kong in the last live, but we went to... Yeah, we probably, because that was, that was the day at sea right before we hit uh, Taiwan. Right. So we went to a garden there that, I, like, every time I turned around a corner, my mouth was just dropping open. Everything beautiful. was just really beautiful. So I can't beautiful. wait to share those videos. Um, then we had, like, we've only had two sea days, this yeah. section. One of today and then the last one i think is when we did the last update yeah. live yeah and jenny we, we we just left korea we're gonna be getting to korea it was it was wonderful so we'll, we'll get to it we'll get yeah. to it so uh taipei taiwan um so we we did a, there was a crown and anchor society event there so mm -hmm. we got to go to the taipei 101 big building and then of course as you guys all heard right after we like a day or two after we left yeah. they had a huge earthquake yeah. in taiwan um yeah. Not a huge number of deaths, but still, still um, a lot of people prayers and thoughts. You know, to, a lot of, you know, still damage done and lives shaken up. So yeah, um, prayers I, go out to them. As I'm thinking about, you know, when we were driving through there, all of the high rises, mm -hmm. and I mean, I'm sure most of them. I mean, if they were destroyed, people more people would have been injured mm -hmm. and hurt and stuff. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I'm sure they're all still standing, but that's got to be yeah. scary <laughs> being in a high rise yeah. when the ground starts shaking. Yeah. I, I've, I mean, I've been around lots of earthquakes, but not in, you know, not on like the 36th floor of a building when that happens. Um, then we did Ishigaki, Japan. That was, um, that was kind of like a little resort town. Yeah, it was. It was, it was pretty nice. Pretty nice. We walked a lot. Yeah. Had, uh, had had lunch at, at uh, a place just off of where they dropped us off of the port. Yeah. And then Okinawa. Okinawa was beautiful. Right. Oh, uh, the, the part that we saw uh, <laughs> this time. We, we, we actually, Okinawa. Oh, two Australians we, missing in Taiwan still. Oh, man. Oh, I hope they, again, prayers yeah. that they find them. Yeah. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, we were sorry. I was letting you talk about um, Okinawa, Okinawa first. Okinawa. Because I talked too much. Our two-hour bus trip to nowhere. <laughs> so, 
a lot of at almost every location there's an option to do what's called a panoramic city tour and we've done a few of these and they're they're very inexpensive so we tend to book those and um it's the frugal right or so um, Sometimes, not so much. Most of the time, they drive you around. They stop at a couple of important spots. You get mm -hmm. to get out and take some pictures and kind of look. Stretch your legs. Stretch your legs, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. And just look around, right? Experience kind of the city. And um, We just drove around. 20 minutes into the, uh, to the, to the drive, mm -hmm. two-hour drive, we stopped at a mall. Uh, oh, actually, before we got to it, the tour guide asked if there was anyone who needs to go to the restroom. This is our restroom break. 20 minutes and in. 20 minutes in, we're like, no, you know, and then, okay, well, this is the last one. This is the only, <laughs> only bathroom stop. And I don't want, I don't want to be too, too mean about it, but. But, but we, this is a, a tour that there's generally a lot of the, the elderly yeah. sailing people. And, <laughs> you, you know, sometimes you got to go when you got to go in an hour and a half. Anyway. Plus, because you know you're talking about the time to get off the boat, get back through all the customs and the ship security, and get back to your stateroom. That's, anyway, that's that's we time. we came back to the ship and then um and then went back out with some friends. So yeah, we we had fun. Yeah, that was that that ended up being nice. And I found a whole row of gash pond. I got I got some video of that. That's the video I'm going to share too. Um, so Jimmy's asking, how was it visiting some of these places, given your past occupations? So. I have not spent a lot of time in the East. Yeah. Um, mostly, mostly it's been the Middle East for me. Yeah, me too. Me too. And well, and Pacific. Um, I'm trying to think. Yeah. yeah well, Western Pacific, Pacific Rim. Right. You were Pacific involved. Rim. Yeah. Um, but um, so it was really different. It was um, it was nice and refreshing yeah, and different. Yeah. It was something we hadn't experienced before, yeah, and, which is and, the point of travel, right? Exactly. <laughs> and of course. Uh, uh, Japan and Korea, South Korea, are both, you know, relatively friendly to the U.S. So mm -hmm. that's, and of course, Okinawa is, there's, you know, a large base there, several large bases. I lied. And, we did have one other sea day. Yeah. Um, but so those were, those were nice, easy to get in and off of. It was, you know, no issues. Um, of course, tomorrow we go into Beijing for the Great Wall Trip and looking forward to that. Um, but uh, but that's that's tomorrow yeah so jimmy's uh, asking isn't there uh, restrooms on board the bus they'll struggle in beijing with three hours one way most of the buses on the tours that we've had have had bathrooms the always. one the one in okinawa did not probably because it was only supposed to be a total trip of two hours with a planned bathroom break um so i'm guessing that's why there wasn't one on the bus but yeah um so let's talk about let's talk about beijing <laughs> Um, so I'm going to switch from what we've done to what we're getting ready to do. So tomorrow we're going to be in Beijing. And um, I just went through the list. Uh, your first time in China, you'll love the sites in Beijing. Lots of photo ops. Yeah. So um, we're still counting Hong Kong as China. So, but yeah, I get that it's very different in Hong Kong to, yeah, to the mainland. Yeah, it was, it's not so much, it's, it's, it's China light. <laughs> Taiwan and, and Hong Kong both they the the, the crews list both of them as China yeah I'm thinking that's we've got it we've got our our calendar up here on the, kind of like, that's why know, we keep looking at the wall smoothing things over <laughs> to saying yes we understand China but Hong or, or Beijing is definitely China yeah. so so um with regard to the the restrooms in the trip to Beijing so there's there's two different trips there's the uh, for, for the Great Wall of China. There's a 16-hour oh, yeah, sure. trip and an 11-hour trip. Yeah. So we are doing the 11-hour trip. Um, but they did mention that there's only two places on the on the entire tour for bathroom yeah. breaks. It, yeah, and, and I don't know about the buses. There are, we got three and a half hours one way or, on the bus yeah. and three and a half hours back to the ship. Um, we're on the 11-hour tour. There's a 16-hour tour that also includes the uh, the Forbidden City. Love to see the Forbidden City. I wish I could get on that that, that tour. <laughs> However, they're going to see the Forbidden City first, then they'll get to the Great Wall at night. Now it'll be illuminated, which looks awesome. But there's a gondola that they were talking about for hours 
we'll be seeing it during the day. The gondola will be open. That goes up to about halfway, I think it is, <laughs> in the section of the wall we're going to. So we can kind of get off there and go either way. The gondola will be closed, so they'll have to start at the bottom end and walk as far as they want to walk, and then walk back down. Yeah. The gondola won't be open. I'm okay with walking, but the- I am too. But the- Well, yeah. what did we do uh, the other day in, uh, what was the- Jeju? Jeju, yeah. Jeju, the island of Jeju. We, we walked we, like six miles in Jeju. Yeah, um, yeah. That was nice. It was, it was a cool, comfortable day. It was a, it was overcast, so the sun wasn't beating down on us. So, Jimmy, yeah, I wouldn't count Taiwan as mainland China either. No, Hong Kong, no. I'm counting it's, it as my, have I been to China? Yes, I have, but yeah, I don't count it as. Yeah, yeah not so much, but but still, it's, uh, it's all about the politics. Right, so. The highlights for tomorrow are, um, I was going to share with you, the, the what to bring list we had. Yeah. Uh, toilet paper. So we got to bring our own. Yep. yep. Uh, our tour tickets, obviously. Mm -hmm. Passport. Passport for the folks that are doing the Forbidden City. Mm -hmm. And I don't, um, there was something on the closed circuit TV um, last night that we were watching that said, hey, don't remember to pick up your passports. Don't remember, don't forget. Or don't forget to pick up your passports. Um, any you need some member berries? <laughs> no, don't start. Anyway, <laughs> um, so we're going to have to go down to guest services and see if that applies to everyone or just us because I'm guessing it doesn't apply to us because we didn't get, uh, you know, here's when and where you need to be to pick those up. Um, and then uh, Remixer Beck says, um, knowing that would make my body have to go every hour, same. <laughs> Like that's it's, it's, uh, you know the, the the body does some really strange things sometimes <laughs> so there's then there's the c pass card uh sunscreen hat or umbrella credit card water jacket and power bank so that's the yeah. list of recommended items to bring yeah and actually our trip yesterday our, our own little personal excursion the expensive one i mentioned oh. the power bank was the other part yeah we had to buy in a addition new one of those. to in addition to the, her little handheld gyroscope we uh, got a power bank and a few other little things. So, um, if you guys... I, I got some new chews. <laughs> Get out of my face. So, if you guys, if you guys aren't... Um, uh, if you're on Facebook, I have a Frugal Bagabond group and page. I'm kind of phasing out the group because I don't... Um, I'm the only one who posts on it, and to me, the point of a group is to have interaction, so nobody's kind of doing that. So instead, I set up a page. It's easier for me to share on the page as well, because I can do that direct from my main account. And um, so <laughs> I posted a video about this, a short, just a short clip of uh, Steve and I shopping. Um, but if you want to if you want to join the Facebook page, uh, please do so. Um, so you guys know that we're we're doing videos. What you guys see is maybe two or three minutes at the most. Mm. Sometimes just barely well, over this, a minute. Well, yeah, the videos, but this this should well, this, about an hour. Well, these or take so. up a huge amount of storage space, and I don't like to delete anything because I want to do uh, some long form videos when I have time when we're done with this and put together some travel stuff. Um, and so I needed a five terabyte hard drive because I have used. I brought several hard um, external hard drives with me. They are all now full and I can't do backups on my computer because my backup drive is now full of stuff. So I just got that offloaded. It took, it didn't finish until, I started mm. it at like <laughs> two, two o'clock yesterday afternoon and it didn't finish until seven o'clock yeah. this morning. <laughs> so that's how long it took to transfer two terabytes over um, to free up space on my backup drive. And now I have, I, I have at least three terabytes of space to use up on this drive. Um, That'll maybe last me a month or two. A cloud storage, we thought about that. It's really expensive. Well, well, not just the, the, the cloud storage. It's our internet still. And that's, yeah, it's, that makes it really time-consuming to the, the good part the is, yeah, we do have the uh, uh, the Skylink, which is, is very nice. It gets a very Certainly. good connection. Yeah. Uh, but unfortunately, in the areas we've been in and will be for the next weekish, I think, mm -hmm. um, about that. Okay. Yeah, it's it's not allowed. Starlink is not yet allowed in uh, this area, so they go to what they call legacy, which is the which older is the, style, the Voom or whatever it was y before. Yeah, yeah, which is a different connection. I don't know if it's it's got to be satellite because you know, get out in the middle of the waters. There's no towers that'll reach out to them very well. Yeah. So but yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess it's the old satellite system that they had. So it, it's. Greatly You'll be exhausted. We're already exhausted from the tours. This this trip this 
has been and well yeah, yeah and we have it's this when we get to Europe that's gonna be that's even, gonna be worse even heavier this this uh, this cruise this individual cruise was 12 days and we had three sea days we have three sea days and they're we got one of, we got one more coming up we had no one, we got, today is the last oh that's one. right that's right because because Hong Kong is, uh, I'm sorry Beijing is where this leg ends right and then we'll start the next individual cruise going from from, uh, from Beijing to Singapore. Right. So. Uh, did you like, I loved Hong yeah, Kong. Yeah, Hong Kong was neat. I, um, Beijing is far, is too far. Everyone is forced to go on a tour. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, we had a couple of conversations about, I, I could live in Hong Kong. It's a beautiful city. There's lots to do. Mm -hmm. They have a really easy to navigate, um, metro system there. Mm -hmm. Um, public transportation in general, it's very clean. Everybody was really nice. But we, we... I didn't feel like a weird foreigner when I was there. I felt like I, and even though we were the only gringo or other than the other people from the ship that we saw when we were walking around, um, we had a, we had a good time and we felt very, um, very welcome safe. and accepted welcome, and safe. safe. Yeah. Well, we yeah. went, we took the Metro and went to the garden that Leah mentioned earlier. And after that, we went down to the next stop and got off, and it, it was the temple that we went to. And I can't remember the exact name of that temple, but it was, it was neat of its own because there were a lot of people going up there and doing the prayers, had the incense. Um, it, very interesting to see. But, of course, you had the temple. Then right next door, you had the temple mall. <laughs> so we got to include the shopping, you we know. Well, we didn't really buy anything there. We no, we went to lunch, and we, we told lunch. that we told that story already. That, did we tell it? Yes, we oh told that gosh. story already. Yeah. Basically, we were we were the entertainment for the rest of the people in the restaurant because yeah. we didn't know yeah. what we were supposed to do with the big white with the big bowl and the yeah. tea and the hot yeah. water and stuff. So, yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Yes, and, and to be fair laughing with us not at yeah. us a little, maybe a little bit at us but they weren't i didn't again it, it didn't it feel like ridicule. they were being it wasn't derisive at all. Like, look at look at these people well <laughs> and that well but the people <laughs> were yeah. helping yeah, us that's out right. yeah, they the, the, spoke those... a little bit of english and were trying to help us yeah. out they were really nice and a couple while very they were nice. laughing <laughs> yeah yeah because like i said at one point i looked over and she the, the his wife had sat down first and she had the cup in the, the tea and she was rinsing it basically and i'm like oh Okay. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Fun, fun stuff. All right. So after our last sea day, we went to Busan. It poured down rain the entire time kind we were of, there. Kind of like Hobbiton. Yeah. Kind of like our trip to Hobbiton. Um, uh, yeah. So tomorrow is great. Yeah. But we don't, we're not doing Forbidden yeah. City. We get to do yeah, the there's, jade something. There's, there's, Basically, we get to go to a jade store. Yeah, but yeah, yeah we're doing the great wall tomorrow. Um, and, and the story behind that is the one that we're on was the original one that was planned. But early on, the, the people who had already signed up were discussing. Hi, Carla. And wanted to get, uh, they wanted to see the Forbidden City as well. Hi, Aaron. So they set up another tour, which included the Forbidden the City. Forbidden City mm -hmm. and, but they still kept the original one. And so the Forbidden City tour filled up. And so by the time we signed up for the cruise, we were defaulted to just the, the original. 11 hour Great Wall. I'm okay with that trip. though. I am too. 11 hours, that's, that's going to be plenty. I'll be ready to get off that bus. I think so. So in Busan, the excursion, we, oh, we go to, for, no, we don't get to go to no, the Forbidden City to. at all. We don't the, get to. <laughs> Okay, so some girl says the Jade store is interesting, expensive, but cool to see. Okay. I, I, I'm sure it will be cool <laughs> to see, but it just, I'm, I'm just not in the mood for stopping maybe, at another. Maybe I'll buy you something for your birthday there. Yeah, my birthday. <laughs> His birthday. You'll spend most of your time sitting in traffic. Yeah, I totally figure that. So, thanks for the hearts, you guys. Thanks for the yes. love. Yes, yeah. So we went in Busan. We went the first place we went was yeah, the Temple yeah. by the Sea. It's a sail shop. Yeah, yeah. yes. Some go. Yes, yes. We understand. We pouring down rain. Yeah. Um. So there's this thing about 108 steps. I did not see 108 steps. Uh, they were broken up. Maybe so. It was kind it of went like from level to flights. level, kind of. But you know. there were lots of places where you had to go up or down, and there were no steps. It was just like. Um, slightly rough concrete well it was old rock or old rock yeah, old rock where they some places they'd gone and put some concrete over the top of it yeah and so it had some there was some roughness it was that i had pretty good it traction. was slippery i don't know 
it what was Leia's slippery. shoes were doing. <laughs> you should have got you some good shoes with grip. Well, you didn't have those until yesterday. No, I didn't so have these, up. but I had my, my, my deck shoes <laughs> on, so they handled the water in the well. So this, well. this was the temple by the sea in Busan, yeah. South Korea. Beautiful. Um, it was Beautiful. a gorgeous temple. There was all kinds of statues. It was, again, very picturesque. And, of course, because it was pouring down rain, literally everybody had an I'm umbrella good. So you couldn't see most of the things you were trying to look at unless you, you literally got to the front, which doesn't, you know, how it is when there's lots of tourists in the same place, which is, you know, like always, um, it's very hard to get to the front of anything because there's yeah. just so many people there. Yeah. Um, so we have a tactic we use for that. So I'll share this for anybody who's a regular cruiser. With the tours, it's kind of easy to, um, it's difficult, I'll, I'll, I'll start with saying it's difficult to stay in front with the guide because that's where kind of everybody wants to be. Um, and, but it's really easy to like lag behind. And as long as um, you're, you can walk fast when you want to, mm -hmm. when you need to catch up, um, if you lag behind and wait for everybody to kind of move on, you can get some decent photos. Yeah. And that's what we've been doing. We. Yeah. Definitely did that big time in Hobbiton. Um, well, not just that, but also there was after, a defined path there too. So yeah, after after the, the temple, we went to the oh the, the apex. The apex. I and I don't understand what the big deal of that is. So there was some big summit, and it was the apex building, and I mean it was a cool looking building, but it wasn't. Yeah. But but the neat thing we didn't we didn't go in the building. Right. But the thing was the grounds that were around it was out on a little. I saw it as a point that she called it an island. The tour guide called it mm -hmm. an island. But, uh, of course, the when you, when you go up the path, the, the apex building is off on the right, kind of overhanging towards looking out over the water. That uh, is true. Or, or a little inlet. And then it goes around and has the old uh, lighthouse mm -hmm. uh, at the at the point of it. And then it goes around to where you can see uh, what the, is the mermaid statue that was out in the water. I don't remember. Yeah. I, I That's remember cool. when we walked into that little restaurant. You could see that statue out there. Oh, from the beach. That was yeah. it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, so the, the grounds is what was really beautiful. So the building, <laughs> me. Uh, so Jimmy says, uh, or in response to JC, some people wear high heels. I'm wondering what they were thinking. Yeah. Yes. I can't imagine. Yes. I, I wouldn't have been able to do it. There's no way. And no, we don't have two days in big. Well. So here's the thing, for, for the calendar we have, we only show one day here, but this is the end of the calendar. So we, I know we don't, the ship might have two days. We don't have two days in Beijing because our tour is 11 hours. But, Most out in that, the but, first day, but there's some people on that overnight trip. Okay, so I believe the ship does have two days in yeah, Beijing. And we probably shows. have the option of getting off if there's another tour. Yeah. The, uh, this is the last day of the current sailing. The first right. day of the current sailing, or the, next, the next sailing, sailing. is in Beijing, is right. a day in Beijing. And sometimes that means one day, and some days, sometimes it means two, and it's kind of hard to tell yeah. by the way they break up the days. So um, so I think we do have two, like you said, because think, there's an overnight. Yeah. Um, have you two been to any of these Asian countries previously? No. So no. Um, we've not been to Hong Kong, Taiwan, we have been to Japan. Yeah, well, yeah, flew through Okinawa. And we, we overnighted there and flew on into Hawaii. And then, um, and I have been to Singapore. Yeah. And we stayed, a, I think, a day or two there. When I, I was on, through. in yeah. kind of flew through en route to another place. Um, but the, there was a large group of us, and there were only so many flights in the next day. So, um, so some of us stayed a little longer than others. Um, so yeah, other than. Uh, Japan and Singapore, these are all new for me. And yeah. Japan's the only one yeah. we've been to. Um, so let's see. Okay, so that was Busan. Um, we, so they, they did the tour um, with the tour guide around this area where the APIC was. It was a blocked off area. And we were cold and wet and hungry and there was a Westin 
literally right across the street right, yeah, from we, us. So we kind of looked around and went, I'm going to go there and left the tour. <laughs> had lunch. <laughs> had lunch. Had a very nice lunch. Got dried off a little bit. <laughs> a very expensive, nice lunch. Right. <laughs> got dried off, got warm. And then we did the tour um, when literally it was just the two no of us. One. Well, I take it back. There was a, other, you know, a couple of, there was one man, there was like two women. Yeah, but they weren't part of our tour. No, they not, were no, just no. They were people. just, they were locals. They were just walking walking in the little the garden area the the, the park you know, it was, it was basically it was a street that we were on but it's all blocked off to traffic yeah were the tickets sold out for the forbidden city so i don't yes is the short answer yeah. to that question um but it wasn't like uh, they were sold out before we purchased the trip yeah. so yeah. It yeah. wasn't really ever going to be an option for us no yeah the, um, they had the, the the forbidden city was added on to uh the great wall trip and they had to do a whole lot of uh, different logistics for that because it's 16 hours and uh, they get to the wall at night. Mm -hmm. um, so. so the next stop was Jeju Island. Jeju. Jeju. And we did not have any excursions planned there. So mm -hmm. we just um, got a map at mm -hmm. the visitor's center in the in the terminal. Walked to the Old Town area. Walked to the Old Town area. Got just, some Korean barbecue. Yeah. That was yep. really interesting. Um, also very I, I did post a video on that one you should yeah. that one that one did get posted yeah. um oh some girl i'm sorry that he mm. got sick she said uh, they they missed the forbidden oh, city that stinks that's too bad yeah um so there was another area um it, so it looked like temples we had a do you know are you written the map i don't know no, what you're doing no, the temperature down the oh somebody got warm Can, I, is that the map can you get that for me yes so Jeju. Yes. There's this little part that looked like Welcome it had temples. To Jeju. <laughs> and so we were like, well, we took kind of the back roads, which was kind of nice because we got to see some of the neighborhoods. I'm gonna show you this. So hold this up so you can see. This is the area that we were like, oh, you know, that looks like probably temples. I, that's interesting. I think yeah. we want to go over there. So we walked over there and um, it was really beautiful. Got pictures, videos, all that stuff. We ran into another couple from the ship mm -hmm. who, I guess, just down the street, there was a place that w you could rent, you know, traditional clothing mm -hmm. and they would dress you up and you'd get to wear the stuff for half an hour, come around and get your pictures taken at the, t <laughs> at the well, again, what we thought was temples. Well, um, Let's see, uh, I know many might not be confident, but you can get speed train into Beijing to maximize time. That's good to know. Yeah. Pick up a local tour, stay overnight and speed train back to port. And did you know there's a little place where you can pay to legally step into North Korea? I did not know that, but I would uh, not do that. <laughs> yeah. I would not do that. Um, anyway, so I, I posted this video too. So if you've seen the, the video of Jeju, you've seen the, the temple stuff. There's not a whole lot of it, but some, because there was a lot of stuff to see there, in my opinion. And somebody had asked me, hey, you know, what kind of temples were these? So I, yes, it is. So it's a tourist attraction. Hmm. Um, so it's still I, neat. It was I got built in the old style. Right. So I, I got videos and pictures of the signs next to some of the buildings. And they were refabricated stuff that had burned down or damaged or whatever. And they all had said they were government buildings. Even though, you know, They're they have fake... owned by the government. Right. So they have fake people set up inside. Well, they also didn't mention a religion. So it didn't... True, true. It, there was no... In any of the descriptions of the buildings. Yeah. So it was just kind of, okay, that's weird. I, I guess we... Anyway. It made, it still neat. It yes. made for picturesque yeah, and, video. Yeah, and, and to see the people walking around in costumes. There were so many people walking around. We, when we first walked in, we thought there were weddings happening. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah. it was like, oh, this is interesting. Yeah, and, and the, the guys had on what looked like a, a something like a top hat almost. Because it was, had, a, had a flat, round traditional. brim. Yeah. yeah, it was a traditional head headpiece. But it, and uh, the, the, the stovepipe part of it for the, the old top hats. It was, it was really interesting. The women, the, the, the garments were beautiful. You know, it's just really amazing. And uh, the, the couple that we talked to, he, uh, then they're, I guess, <laughs> so we've talked to them on the ship a time or two, and they're, they're fun people. And uh, they said that they just decided to go ahead and do it, you know. And, and as it, we were leaving, 
we saw the place and we, we're like, eh. well, no, well, no, we we came out oh. and we passed them. Oh, they were that. they were coming towards us and they're back in there just where they're civilian. They, this stuff was put on over their their personal clothes, and uh, he comes walking up. And says, hey, we we heard the king and queen were here a while ago, <laughs> talking about himself and his wife. Right. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, we, we did post pics of Jeju. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I only there's only one picture of somebody in the traditional dress though i again for privacy reasons i don't yeah. like to post pictures yeah. of other people but i managed to get her from the back and she was um almost certainly a model who was uh posing for pictures Photos. so yeah. so i got a little bit of her in the video um and that's on the jeju one um in seoul again uh, all we did was shop there but i will say that every place we've been so far the cherry blossoms have been uh, amazing yeah. Yeah. and so we just randomly picked this mall because it seemed like it was close and it seemed like it would probably have an electronic yeah, store. Yeah, and the entire like this whole area and there was it's actually two buildings yeah, there's two next malls, to each other. Right, and I think they I think they're completely different malls. I don't okay. Anyway. I I think they are. Maybe they may be owned by the same people, who knows. But anyway, but the went to the parking lot in between after we went through and mm -hmm. the second one and got more stuff there. Uh, we wanted to walk over towards where the where we're seeing the cherry blossoms. And it ended up being like a whole, almost a park. So there, yeah. on the there's like a, ri a, a, li a river, and on the other side it's, of that, there's residential high rises. Yeah, and it looked like there's and, a grassy and area. And some of y'all that have been in the bigger cities, you know how they have there'll be the big drainage areas that they've actually yeah. turned some of it into a green space. And yes, we could they do see smell good. <laughs> from there was a little trail that walked down through the cherry blossom trees that we were on. Mm -hmm. Then just down below that, I could see people heads basically people on bicycles zipping down so i figured <laughs> yeah. there was a, a walkway down there of some sort and it, it, there was a lot of people just around down there but the trail we were on was quiet yeah. very peaceful i posted uh, a couple one on uh, instagram that i just had the ambient sound you can hear the birds what's your what's your instagram uh i am the the third rock vagabond so um I'm starting to think like I know I do remember when we were in the um when we were in that park and it, on that walkway that it smelled really good mm -hmm. but I'm but now that I'm thinking about it I don't it didn't it wasn't overwhelming it was it was, it was a fresh it was just a very fresh air right aroma and being how we were surrounded by um you know highway yeah it was really interesting it was really nice and when we cut back into the parking lot to go back into the building when we were done um yeah, yes, Lynn. It would be very beautiful, very beautiful. Yeah, and live then and believe. how you doing? Live and believe. Good to see you. Good to see you, and Lynn. Good to see you too. Um, and then we had, there were honeysuckle too on the yeah. way. Um, I looked those up. They were called Golden Bell. Oh, were they? Okay, yeah, Golden Bell. So, so friend said honeysuckle, but okay. Um, are you going to Shanghai? No. 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 No, well, I don't know. What, no, because this is the last stop we have in China, isn't it? I think so. I think so. I'd have to look in the schedules. Yeah. So I'm going to guess the, no. On the phones, they have an app. We got. Well, there's an app for that, you know. But um, the guys from the China show on YouTube for one, crazy. China. Um, that there's a China show on YouTube. Well, it was it was one of the cultural things that they did. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that I was, was like. Good. Yeah, well, and and unfortunately, we've we've missed a few of those. Uh, one of them kind of, I wasn't that, that thrilled with it. So, but anyway, a lot of them are really good. Really, really good. But yes. Very. Yeah. Let's see. So what else have we been up to the last two days? Uh, last two days. Taxes. So this is one of the oh, things taxes. I thought you guys would be curious about. Taxes. So like, how do you file taxes when you're on a ship in the middle of the ocean? Right. <laughs> and yeah, file we were, when you're in Afghanistan, right? We're, we're very lucky to get the right timing for the blossoms. Um, yeah, we might we miss are. the cherry blossoms in Japan. I don't know, because it's north, and it's, it's it's pretty cool. Today, when we got up, it was, what did I say, 48? Yes, it was 48 degrees yeah. this morning when we woke up. I can, I can, I can check. No, please don't turn him I, it's just I'm just going to put it over on the thing. He does this thing. They have the info. It's got the, you know, where we are, the moving map. It's mm -hmm. got the, the front camera from the ship. 
gives us all kinds of very valuable information. <laughs> and it's on all the time. And, and for us, uh, for us old map geeks, it's <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> Channel three for those of you who are keeping keeping record. Anyway, the the mappy thing. Humidity seventy. It's got the mappy thing. Yeah, it'll rotate around. Twenty five mile an hour apparent wind. Yeah, some girl says she loves the Cruise Infos channel. See, thank you. <laughs> Anyway. Thank you. I'm justified. Yes. Anyway, so See, there's, um, there's the front of the ship. We're we're switching accountants this year, um, but also because we're not in the United States, we qualify for an extension. But if you don't meet certain criteria, you have to mail in the request for the extension instead of being able to do it online without paying for it. And so obviously, putting something in the mail from here is problematic. So we had to email our info to friends and family back home and ask them to put it in the mail for us. Yeah. <clears throat> no biggie. Um, thanks, some girl. I appreciate that. Um, what she say? Oh, you just about the question? Or yeah. Uh, love... No. The China Show is a popular oh, yeah. YouTube channel. Two guys who used to live in China. Okay, so I'm definitely checking okay. that one out. I'm yeah. writing that one down. Thank yeah. you for the follow up on that. Hello, Helen. The... You look great. World Cruise is looking good. I go. Thank you very much. We're we're loving it. We're loving it. Um, and we did receive yesterday the refund for segment three. Yeah. So since Amazing. we went with the Africa itinerary, it's like an early tax return, right? <laughs> we tax got, refund. Okay. We got um, the the twenty five percent yeah. discount. So right now it's fifty two degrees. Okay. And it was forty eight earlier. So yeah. really late. warm, really warming up there. Um, so we got that yesterday. We have not seen the new excursions listed, but they did mm. say they would be. They were going to try to get those out by the first week of April. So we're almost at the end of the first week of April. So hopefully soon um yeah that's kind of it yeah anybody got any more questions yeah questions <laughs> what what do inquiring minds want to know buenos noches, buenos noches. antonio hi antonio hi helen <laughs> uh, motorcycle tour oh yeah yeah, the border video with the uh, motorcycle tours. I, I'd love to do motorcycle tours. So love the, to. So some girl says all the cars in China are newer. It's their law. So that's really interesting yeah. because um, I wasn't familiar with that in China, but I do know that Singapore has similar laws. Like if you want to keep a car past a certain number of years, it gets increasingly more expensive mm -hmm. to keep it. And basically you have to get it off the island somehow. Yeah, yeah. Let's see days do you? So, have a yes. So uh, Helen's Helen, asking. <laughs> go ahead. You can. Helen yeah. says, on sea days, do you ever just want to decompress and have quiet time? If so, how do you do that? Well, for one, uh, she runs me out of the room. Uh, <laughs> no, we, we we do. There's a lot of times that we do just decompress in the Naps. room. Naps. Yeah, I'll just kind of chill out. When we were originally booking excursions, we knew we were going to want breaks in the middle of this when, yeah. you know, and so we, there were days that we scheduled no excursions for, on purpose. But now I kind of feel obligated to at least leave the ship and walk around and do something. Yeah, um, yeah. and I'm, I'm kind of liking that better than some of the excursions. I do too, yeah. If, if, if from, you know, we need, we've talked about it. We want to go back through and, and revisit all the excursions we booked and see if there's anything else that looks but basically just like a bus ride around and to nowhere and yeah. comes back. The, well, uh, Oh, sorry. Uh, Lori's asking, do you have a favorite food that you've tried the last few days? Hmm. Well, the barbecued pork in... That was really good. It, it, it was good. Um, in in uh, um, which Korea? That, that was... Which, Hi, some girl. In Jeju. See you, yeah, see had, you next wait, time. In Jeju. Yeah, and thanks for the love. <laughs> um, in Jeju, we had the, uh, the black pork... Uh, Korean barbecue, uh, and, and it was good. Uh, has some good flavor. There's some good sauces, uh, but I'm not a fan of kimchi. And of course, they had kimchi in there, and then uh, we had a soup that had basically kimchi soup. I, I'm, I just, I'm sorry, I just not a fan of it. I actually like the kimchi until the the spice hit the back of my throat and made mm -hmm. me cry. <laughs> yeah. So I couldn't eat any more of it. But I, I, but I enjoyed the the stuff i did try uh some girl she went off the boat yeah. oh yeah 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 so this and was at the korean barbecue place in jeju yeah well she yeah. met off oh. the boat when, when she was talking about the decompression oh um i think it was i think she no that was over here mm -hmm. okay i'm On confused days. yeah and and, and <laughs> that's part of it. we just kind of get away 
uh, it's nice when we can get away and not see a whole bunch of people from the ship. Yeah. You know, get around and just see locals in their everyday life. You know, doing you know their their thing. You know, and and we didn't see we anybody else around. in Inchon. No, we didn't. We didn't. We we went well. I think because we were all kind of spread out. There was yeah. lots of different places to and, go, and we all kind of and, like locusts. Yeah. And there again, <laughs> the uh, the the itinerary was billed as Seoul, but. Seoul is inland, Inchon is on the coast where we made port. And so all those people that went to, to into Seoul, it was like an hour drive yeah. to get to the uh, destination that they were going to. We didn't go that far. Ours was, you know, it was about a 30 minute to 40 minute drive in traffic. Not that long. Yeah, it, it wasn't very long to get to the mall we were going to. And you know, from there, we just, like we were talking about earlier, walking through where uh, that trail where all the dogwoods were, it was quiet. We're very more than peaceful. a third way through the cruise, and no, yeah. it doesn't feel that way. No, it does not. It's and, going and we're so not, fast. We're not talking about the time, yeah. some girl. That's where it's, it's going too fast already. So Helen's <laughs> asking if we have any secret quiet spots on the ship that are not in your room. Okay, so I do have one. Do you? Because there are none, yeah. really. Yeah, there's very few. Um, and by now, you know, all the world cruisers have pretty much found them too. Um, there's one that I've I've found that um, I can. I'm doing okay. It's. Do you want me to tell you where it is, or do you want? Are you gonna tell me where yours is? I'm gonna tell you where okay. yours is. I'm gonna tell them where mine is. I've. I wandered back into, the uh, the Safari Club. It's at the very back of the ship. It's it's a, a a venue back there they have, and it's got the huge wall of windows, and of course you're looking at the, the wake trail that we're leaving behind, and just sit there and could get off to one side away from you know, the traffic flows on the, on the starboard side of the ship. So when you go back in, you go back over to the port in that back corner. There's usually fewer people over there. Um, yeah, but at the but Safari Club, they're always doing trivia and stuff always, like that. Well, not always. And there's or yeah, dance classes or yeah. whatever. And but y'all ran into that when trying to get the the group meetings together. There's yeah. always somebody that's found a little corner that they're all meeting too. You know, other people that have different interests. Yeah. So it does sound like yeah, it, it, yeah, it is. Just kind of sit there and just watch everything go past. You know, it's just really kind of nice. So my, my secret place is not cruise approved. So, um, so the, and if I, well, if I tell this, it'll, it might not be an option anymore, but when the theater is closed and there's nothing going on in there, yeah. they don't usually lock those doors. Yeah. Yeah. So you can go in there and I, I was, uh, I was having a bad day one day and there was just noise everywhere and it was driving me crazy. And I'm like, I'm not, I'm going to check the theater. Yeah. Um, and I was trying to do some writing. So I had my writing stuff and I went in there and um, there were people, there's a bar area behind me, people were cleaning. And I should have done this on the sixth floor, not the fifth floor. Mm -hmm. But there were people cleaning up behind me. Nobody said anything to me. There were, you know, a couple of um, performers were out doing some practice stuff. Again, mm -hmm. I'm not paying attention to them. I'm just sitting in the back, I'm doing my writing. I'm not doing anything. Mm -hmm. And then a supervisor came <laughs> in and chased me out. He's like, you cannot be in here when it's closed. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I'm leaving. So Bye. I guess that tells you it's not authorized. Well, I just said it wasn't authorized. Um, anyway, so that's not, um, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> what does the ship smell like? It depends on the day of the week. Well, and not just that, the, uh, <clears throat> the ventilation is, 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 is really good. They, I wish they had, uh, uh, there's, a, there's a vent in, in the restroom, of course. <laughs> um, I wish that we had an actual fan that we could turn on um, right. to, to assist, but, but there's not. But there's a constant flow up through there, even though it's not as fast as we would want. But for the most part, unless the, the, worst I've, I, the worst I've experienced myself was it was a port day when we're not moving for one thing. So the, the air pressures are not you know, equalized and circulating, right? But uh, you, know, you will get, you know, you, unfortunately, you will get some, some of the sulfur sewer smell, uh, sewer gas. But uh, usually, you know, we, we let the, the, the crew know and you know, they send maintenance and they figure out where it's coming from and they, and they get it corrected. It's, it's not that bad. And uh, other times, and of course, you walk by some of the dining areas and you, it smells like food. So it's, it's, it's all good. And then, you know, you go by some of the bars and the ladies had their perfume on. So it's... It's all fine. It's all fine. And in that one area in the uh, casino is the smoking area. Yeah. There's a lot of folks um, that complain about that. Yeah, but th it's only in that one corner. Yeah, it, but, and it's, it's the only place inside that, you, that, they, that the people can smoke. 
Um, other than that, it's, it's outside on deck five or deck 11. And um, so I'm, I'm going to I'm going to do a, a plug for um, Mark Sebastian. So, yeah, I'm assuming that most of you guys remember when um, Blondie in China is another good YouTube channel. OK, noted. Yeah. I, I will write that one down, too. That'll be easy to remember. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jordan, um, Jordan, we're still working on that. <clears throat> what of our plans after the cruise? Yeah, um, so we've got some tentative plans, but we yeah. don't really know what we're going to be doing. Yeah, not yet. We haven't done anything solidified. So but anyway, but okay. thanks for the question. So on uh, how does the ship smell, right? So um, yeah. I'm, most of you, I'm sure, remember when Mark Sebastian was on the ship. Um, when he uh, met us in L.A., so, yep. obvi you know, he got off in Valparaiso, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. So he met us all in L.A., and his brand sponsored, not the one who sponsored him for the trip no. to come on, but no. his 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 brand um, met us all there with these little gift bags. of. Um, and the company's called Boy Smells. Boy Smells, <laughs> which these I'm, smell way nicer than you would imagine a Boy yeah, Smell thing. Yeah, yeah, for me, Boy <laughs> Smells, you know, junior high locker room, I'm, I'm no... So cashmere no. crush, the yeah. crush, crush. Yeah. This is a uh, this is actually an air freshener. Yeah, yeah. And there were there's three these, of these. They're, these these are, are actually a cologne. Yeah. So vanilla. Uh, yep. And we don't, we haven't opened all of this. Less. These. No, I don't know what less smells I don't like. Know what, I don't know what's. And this is notes. I don't know what notes smell like either. No, no. Notes is is what these are. Oh, that's what they this are. Is, this oh, is sorry. wood for you. Wood for you. Wood. Say wood for you. Okay, if you can read backwards. <laughs> anyway. But, but it's nice. It's nice having them. Uh, this definitely helps. Magnetic back. In, in the bathroom. Yeah, this was So it doesn't take thing. up any extra space. So you stick it on the wall. That's the great thing. The uh, the walls are, are steel, so it, it does not. It's, it's, it's so that was really cool. There. And yeah. those yeah. those are our go-to. Like the, the cashmere crush is the go-to go -to for um, air bathroom. freshener. Well, yeah. air and, freshener and, and, in and general. in the room, too, yeah. So it's it's nice. It's nice. They're 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 very wonderful to bring those uh, those gifts to us. Yes. Uh, Mobile. Do you have a secret? Quite so. Okay, we got that one. And does sound much right. Yes, it, it is is wonderful in the back of the ship. If you could change two to seven things on the ship, what would you change? Um, definitely the noise level. If there were some. The centrum is where it's. They they have the the volume turned up on the uh, whenever there's someone playing down there. Uh, especially the bands now with it's the gar guitar player or mm -hmm. the string uh, trio, mm -hmm. it's nice. The string trio they play, you know, like m most. They're like not overly loud, and it's mostly no. relaxing stuff. It's very relaxing. There's three strings, two violins, and a cello, and uh, they're very, they're very good. Right. So, for example, the library they have on the ship is on deck twelve. Yes. And it's right at the top of the centrum. So a nice place that you might want to relax and read and have some peacefulness is not a place where you can do that every time. Because yeah, all that sound just comes straight up through the centrum. Yeah. Never forget the magnets. Exactly. Yeah. Magnets are awesome. Um, so let's see. I would change that. Um, what else? I really like the way this ship is set up. Um, the noise is a big issue. Um, <laughs> There are some places where, uh, well, I guess, especially on decks 12 and, well, there isn't really a deck 13. Deck 12. There is. Yeah, 13 is the vortex. 13. Anyway, on deck 12, when you're trying to see stuff, there's some places where um, the, the railing and the glass is fairly low. And mm -hmm. then there's some places everyone on the ship wants to see what's going on outside because there's, you know, either we're doing a sail away or there's something particularly fabulous outside mm -hmm. that we want to watch. Yeah. It really cuts down on the available area where we can do that. Um, we do have control of the AC in our room. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, and some girl says, is Royal going to do this again in a year or two? Have you heard? So we have. So in the beginning, everybody was like, yeah, we really wish they would. And no, they're not going to. Not, but that has changed. Be, yeah, they're, they're, they're looking at stuff. Maybe they're not going to be doing a nine month. But they'll be doing, you know, longer than normal. What two week? I think is about the longest they generally have. I yeah, I heard it was going to be about three months. Yeah, yeah, they're talking three months, so it's or four. But anyway, yeah. it sounds like they are, so that's awesome. Uh, can you bring cocktails yeah. into the library? As far yes. as I know, you can bring cocktails anywhere, anywhere on the ship. Anywhere, anywhere on the ship. I don't think there's any limit to that. Yeah, no, there's not. <laughs> The There's library not. isn't closed off either. It's, no. it's literally just a it's circular got, area yeah, with books two, in the middle. Two, two entrances and, to it on each side of it. And bent, and very soft, comfy couches. Soft, comfy couches, yes. And, of course, the vortex is nice. During the day, 
and that's up on the 13th floor. That's one where you have the, the mm. panoramic view. Um, it's nice. During the day, there's a lot of people have found it, obviously, but uh, but it's still quiet up there. When people generally get up there, there it's pretty quiet. They're either working or walking, <laughs> which, you know, it, it could be your friends. It could be somebody else. Ellen drunk says, reading. yeah, drunk reading means you can read that book again and won't hey, remember any of it. Hey, True. What is it, what is it they say? Uh, you can't do day drinking unless you start early. Um, so I thought of something else on the ship that I would change. So they have conference rooms and little yep. meeting rooms um, off where the art and photo gallery section is. Mm -hmm. And they are, for the most part, I think, closed off to passengers. They open them up yeah. when they have stuff, you know, be, when we have visa stuff we have to do. But if you want to use uh, those, I, I think you have to pay for them. Yeah, I think it'd be like, because what, what you have essentially here is a ship with a hotel on it. So you have the whole hotel side, which is conference rooms, and I there there may be a charge. I'm guessing there probably I'm on, is. There, I'm certain there is. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I, I would again more meeting space. There's lots of groups on here that are not affiliated with Royal Caribbean, or they don't have official sanction for the events they want to schedule. Mm -hmm. um, Brandy's. Um, stuff that she was trying to schedule for um, Black History Month in February is a really good example of that. She had a really hard time finding spaces to do the activities that mm -hmm. um, she wanted. And Royal Caribbean, I think, participated in one or two, but there were several. Yeah. The high tees that she did. Yeah. Uh, did they? Well, yeah, I guess they had to because they, yeah, they provided the food, food for that. So the they snacks and the tea. The snacks and the tea. So they um, participated in that one, but there were a couple of others uh, and one that didn't happen until March. Um, so, have you heard, is Villa there any v. discussion with the World Cruisers about Villa V, the ship where you can purchase a cabin? Anyone talking about it? Yes, Helen, we have, a lot of us have been talking, not necessarily yeah. together, but they were running a promotion a while back mm. um, for, um, you know, hey, if you do these things, you're entered for a chance to win six months on the ship. Um, I'm super interested. As far as I know, I'm the only one who's done a sales call with them, who's taken it that far. Um, I've shared the information from that from that sales call with a couple of other people that I thought might be particularly interested, but we're kind of all in a place where we don't feel we can afford it and we don't really know where we're, what kind of space we're going to be in when this is over so it's not something where any of us are prepared to do right now at least from the folks that i've talked to yeah um but i had like i said um i have shared the information that i got with their sales folks uh, with some of the other people that i thought would be interested um i would really love to but we also after being gone for nine months you kind of have to like be home for a while to take care of some stuff that you just can't take care of when you're not home. And yeah. I don't know how long that's going to take. And, you know, and we've got family obligations. Too. Yeah. Family, family stuff. So, too, yeah. Um, if, true. if I could join in, um, in a year or if they do a second ship, I'm going to be <laughs> really looking into that and, and, uh, doing sales calls again. <laughs> Helen says, I'm really hoping that someone does <laughs> who, who blogs, who blogs will, sign. will sign and we can go along with them. <laughs> I, I want to be that person, Helen. I, I really do. Um, but I don't, we can't both be gone. We're not, we're not going to beg for money, but yeah, yeah we're not. You know, yeah. <laughs> but if, if someone has a rich uncle that just wants to help us, oh, stop. No, I'm, no. Kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't. Kidding. 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 Anyway, thank you, Helen. Count on you. <laughs> Follow. <laughs> promise. Um, yeah, I guess, um, I don't know, maybe, I can't think of any, I, if anybody has any ideas of any particular brands that would want to sponsor something like that, um, send me the ideas. I'm happy to reach out to them and see what we could do. Like, I don't want any, any people to contribute to this, but a brand deal might, that might be something worth considering if we could do yeah. that. Yep. Hi, Lori. Looks like she said she's just doing some girl. Came, oh, some girl came back. Okay. Yep. Thanks for all the hearts and loves, by the way. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we really appreciate each and every one of you being here. So I'm, I'm curious how many people that are listening right now, if you had a chance to buy a villa, a cabin, on a ship and just live on it as the ship slowly goes around the world over and over again for 15 years, how many would you do that? And some girl, is a Starbucks on board? A, a real, real Starbucks. Starbucks. They have all the equipment. Their, their people were trained. They're, they're, they're royal 
people, but they were trained by the Starbucks company, I think. But uh, so, yes, but I think it's more like one of the authorized, but they have all the equipment that, uh, that Starbucks uses. So. so Veggie Burger asked if we went to the new celebration dinner yet. Yes, we did. We went yeah. uh, last night. Uh, maybe I'd look into it. My husband would say no to a constant cruise. <laughs> <laughs> if I was retired, I would. Okay. Um, too scared of unknown expenses. Yeah, that is that is a real that dilemma. Is, it is. There's it a is. monthly fee. So I will get back to your question about the celebration dinner. But um, the unknown expenses, yeah. So they, guarantee, they lock you into a rate of a monthly fee, which... It varies depending on the size of, and the type of your cabin. And remember, you're also paying for the maintenance and upkeep and the fuel of the ship and, and the, the staff. food and the staff yeah. pays. So it's it's so it's hefty. It's like um, for us, it's a big HOA fee for for us for an ocean view. I think would have been five thousand a month. Five grand a month. So two fifty a piece. Two two thousand five hundred a piece. Right. So sixty grand a year. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah. Now I will say that you can add a third person. Uh, for relatively mm -hmm. inexpensive. Yeah, 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 but very inexpensive. Right. So based on double occupancy, but they don't quite, they don't really do the double occupancy the way the cruise lines do. It's it's not that bad. Uh, if I had enough funds to do things at and all the ports, ports too, the, I would yeah, do it. Yeah. yeah. And there again, there's the, the more part of the expenses. And yeah, haven't I? I'm not even going to tell you how much the balconies were. They're they're absolutely yeah. out of our price range but that was yeah. the other thing because yeah, he I'm, feels like he needs a balcony too I, I do i need to be able to you know, see and be able to step outside and then not just by leaving the room and going up on top they will need to have a certain capacity to fund that ship and it's such yeah. a new concept i hope the idea takes yeah. off and we see floating cruise homes constant me, me too i really do yeah i i love this concept and i would i would enjoy that it's yeah it, okay. it, 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 it does end up being on the expensive side but uh, if you got it planned, it's yeah. So fit it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the celebration event. Fresh air, yes. So we went last night, and I think it was the last one. Um, yeah, I think so. Right. So there was no. Um, so just FYI, when we got the invitation, like we didn't even we didn't even know what it was. Like what? I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, so we had to call and find out. Um, there was no quid pro quo. Um, nobody. It was just a chance for Erica. And they, they split it up into multiple nights because there's so many of us. And there's only, and and there's so only much, one of her. Yeah, and only so much room and, in, in right. the, the, the Well, they had it in venue. vintages the first two nights. And for us, they did it at Chef's Table. They did it at vintages? Yeah, that big table on the I side. I thought they just met in vintages and went over. I don't, well, Ooh. that, okay, so I don't think so. But um, maybe I misunderstood when I was talking to the others. See, this is I, what I, I mean know, about yeah. how I really don't understand. Yeah. So, um, from what I heard, uh, cause I talked to a couple people who went to the one the night before last and their, the makeup of people was different. So the conversation was different. Um, yeah. they, they talked about, um, different concerns that some of the, um, content creators had. The one we had last night was very, it was really just a lot of people sitting around like a, like a talking. normal dinner yeah. party, talking like you would at a normal dinner party where not... Yep where everybody kind of knows everybody else, but you might not be close friends. Um, I had a good time. Yeah. Uh, Erica, the, the, the main point of it was for Erica to introduce herself to m most, if not all of the content creators on board. Mm -hmm. I'm sure it wasn't everybody. Josh and Ina were there. Mm -hmm. um, Little Rat Brain was there. Uh, Emily was there. Um, Emily was there. Uh, there was... I think Natasha, who, I think that was her name. She worked for Royal Caribbean, so she wasn't yeah. a content. Uh, oh, Erica from America is her um, TikTok name. She works for Royal Caribbean, and she does the Royal Caribbean TikTok, and she has her own TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, so she she's just, she's a social media person who works yeah. for the company. And she just got on board in Hong Kong. In Hong Kong. She got on board and, in Hong Kong, uh, and she's and, leaving in Beijing. So yeah, yeah. So she and they'll she's going to different ships all the time. So right. That's what she does. Yeah. Rough life. Um. Anyway, so they set it up for a chance for her to meet all of us. Uh, she shared her phone number with us. Yeah. Um, I put it up on the group chat this morning. Um, and it was yeah. just, a, for for me, it was just a nice yeah. time. Yeah, it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. Uh, got to, and I actually got to sit and talk with Josh for a little bit. And, uh, and his... Male bonding he, stuff. He, he, which <laughs> I can never... Ina. 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 <laughs> um, she's very lovely. He's, he's, he's a nice guy that I've, you know... Just chatting with, we talked about this stuff. Then 
Well, we oh, ate. Sorry, we, I forgot. Sabrina was also there. Yeah. And that Carolyn was there. Yes, Carolyn was there. And Kent was. I'm trying to think, think who that, was. I cannot remember his name. Because there was, was a Kent. blank space between Carolyn yeah. and Kent. So Kent was Kent was the broadcasting guy From for the, the ship. ship. So I had a fun conversation with him. So for those of you who don't know, my degree's in broadcasting, and I don't do a lot of it. Uh -oh. But oh, hold on, it's Live doing wind. this thing. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Verify I'm not a robot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. okay. Yes. So <laughs> we have a new lease on life. So, uh, do you know Gustav and his wife? They seem nice yeah. from Africa. So yeah, we do know them. Um, yeah. He's friends with her dad. Yeah. They're gym buddies. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Gustav <laughs> is a nice guy. I've talked to him off and on. And and uh, we play uh, the the Might and Mayhem. He's come to Might and Mayhem yeah. a few times. Yeah. And uh, uh, her dad uh, Heinrich, he's he's a good guy. He's a hilarious. A good guy. guy. Yeah. We. <laughs> He, and he's still giving me a hard time for not being in the gym very much, so and I, well, I, I really need to get It's hard that. to be a gym buddy when you're not in the gym, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Kent, and then uh, and then Erica, and yeah. then you and me. Yeah. So that was it. So I think we had a slightly small... Oh, because some people got yes. back so late. So Joe uh, yeah. Thompson was supposed to be in the group too, but they didn't. They Dude. literally didn't get back until 7 p.m. and he was wiped Due out. Due to traffic. Due to traffic. In Seoul and Incheon. They, yeah. I mean... We actually we left later. I know than we all expected. I know what the, what the what the captain wanted to leave, but uh, but yeah, there were um, actual royal cruises, which they yeah. they will wait for those because it's part of what they booked for us. But uh, but yeah, they they were held up in traffic and got back late, and they were. And I don't think Joe was the only one. I no, think no, there were two no. ex there were two people who were supposed yeah. to be at the dinner. And I want to say this about the dinner too. So. Um, I know that they're um, they're asking for our feedback. I don't know that they want us to give a review, but yeah. I know they want um, they want everybody's feedback because it's a new thing that they're yeah. trying. But I will say, just for me, um, this reminds me uh, if for those of you older people who have seen Sleepless in Seattle when they're getting their china, eight is too few, twelve is too many. Same thing with this concept for this dinner. Ten would have been the perfect number. The ch chef's table is set up for 14. That's the max number of participants for that. So that's what they were using for the celebration thing. But if it, if the celebration is supposed to be a more intimate event, well, and even chef's table is supposed to be more intimate than main dining room and whatever, because it's a, well, it you is. know, you and your friends, right? Yeah. 10 is really the perfect number. Anything more than that, and the chairs are so far apart, you have to yell if you want to talk to somebody on the other side of the table. Uh, good night, some girl. Good night, some girl. Thanks. Oh, uh, she mentioned, uh, yeah, uh, Amike, her mom is yeah. one of the real houses, but that's in South Africa. Yeah, South well, Africa. it's their version of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah South Africa. So. And but still, yes, yes. Yeah, so uh, we we kind of heard that too, and we was kind of surprised. Yeah, and she's a nice lady. She, she is. She's she's, a, she's very nice. Yeah, very personable. Yep. Anyway, we are at eight fifty eight, yeah, and yep, yep, yep. one of us may or two and a half minutes. Sixty two and a half. We may or may not want to go to the the behind the scenes tour today uh, there's a lot this is the other thing is the the crew the sea days mm -hmm. are not boring there's no, stuff going no, on they, all the they, time yeah, and, and they usually pack the stuff in that we need to do right so like picking up passports or going to shore excursions for or not shore excursions but um guest services there's a town hall meeting again today for the consecutive cruisers so mm -hmm. they're all kind of the same but we go anyway just in case there's new yeah. Um, did two people left in Jeju make it back to the ship? I don't know. I Do did not, not see that until last no. night. We hadn't um, heard anything about it. I hadn't, no. Well, partly because we were sleeping. Or what did we do in the evening after Jeju? We took a nap after Jeju, yeah, after we, we got back from that. We did. And then, oh, then we were at the dinner. So that's why. I yeah. wasn't online. I was. I had my phone face down while we were having dinner. <laughs> or no, that was Inchon. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, that was yesterday. That was last night. But uh, Jeju, so I, I don't remember what we, we. This is the only way I keep stuff oh, straight. That was that was the night I uh, went down and and had a few beers with Jason. Oh, Josh, Josh, not yeah. Jason, Josh. And I was watching movies. Yeah. So again, not online. And and Josh and some more Australians. More Australians. His favorite fun. people. On fun, the fun. Hey, hey, we're gonna have places to go in Australia and stay. Yes, that's, that's what's nice about it. They're, they're the fantastic. other awesome thing about this trip is making lifelong friends. Yes, making new lifelong friends. Yes, yes. we hope anyway. Obviously, that could change when we get off the ship, but I don't mm. think so. Mm. A lot of people I really like. Yeah, and and if we're able to, you know, keep moving around a little bit and making it to some of the other places again, 
Uh, be nice. Dita replied to my comment saying they got back on yesterday. Okay, thank Good. you. Thank you. Thank Glad you, Lazi. Yeah, we hadn't. Appreciate that. We, we, we saw the posting. Last night for the first time. Last night, and uh, I. I hadn't I, seen who, any. Who posted it? It was Adita. Yeah, it was Adita. Okay. I hadn't seen. Uh, yeah, we and we didn't hear anything about it. No, no discussion that last night at, did they talk about last night? But forget the, yeah, lifelong friends, but you forget their names. Actually, yeah. I've been doing really good at remembering people's <laughs> yeah. names. Um, you know. Pretty much if you guess uh, John or Steve for a guy, or I'm going to say Linda and Karen for a female. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're at least, you got a 50% chance. <laughs> yeah. But I am very glad to hear that they got back on the ship. That's great. Um, <laughs> we are yeah. that age. Yeah, yeah, that would be a bad day. All right. Thanks so much for the for all the hearts and loves, you guys, and all the questions. This yes. um, I, I really enjoyed. Hello, this. the kiss. <laughs> an interesting are. name like that. <laughs> so everybody have a good rest of your evening yeah. if you're in the U.S. and day if you're um, anywhere near where we are. Yeah, yeah. And glad yeah, you were here. And the updates thanks, for Beijing JC. Will come as soon as we can get thanks, something Lori. put together. <laughs> Appreciate y'all being here. Uh, and live and believe, believe. Yep. and Helen. Always thank good you. to see you and uh, and Helen and. Uh, uh, live, well, what was the other one that keeps coming up in the I, uh, Katie. there again Katie yes bye so, <laughs> goodbye bye 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 oh there, uh, oh, there. okay can't end